WWE Raw is guaranteed to be an explosive show this week. Not only does it mark the return of Goldberg after the events of SummerSlam, but the second night of the draft will take place. So much could happen during the three-hour-long broadcast. With enough creativity, WWE Raw could even outshine SmackDown, a great show in its own right. With that said, here are five surprises that could happen during the show. Number 5. The Usos show up on WWE Raw to get speared and jackhammered by Goldberg. Goldberg vs. Roman Reigns was supposed to be the main event at WrestleMania once upon a time. Unfortunately, as luck would have it, the pandemic hit, and plans went away. We know that the Usos will be on WWE Raw this week to ensure their tribal chief's orders are carried out. Once there, they could run into a roadblock called Goldberg, and yes, they could undoubtedly eat a spear and a jackhammer, or both. Goldberg is returning to wreak vengeance, hellfire, and brimstone upon Bobby Lashley for what happened to his son. But let's assume for a minute that Lashley manages to leave WWE Raw in the nick of time. Goldberg would be in quite a mood then. The spear machine, Goldberg, bulldozing through the roster would be a sight to behold. Number 4. Asuka shows up on WWE Raw to confront Becky Lynch. Since WWE Raw will be the draft season finale, the chances are that Asuka could return in a big way. Let's assume Becky Lynch gets drafted and calls out the entire roster for a big fight. And then, out of nowhere, Asuka shows up and challenges her for the WWE Raw Women's Championship. This is, provided, Charlotte Flair and Becky Lynch trade their championships before the show begins. Number 3. The Usos lose the SmackDown Tag Team Championships to AJ Styles and Omos. Roman Reigns has sent the Usos to WWE Raw to make sure they remain on SmackDown, aligned with the bloodline. But while they're on WWE Raw, AJ Styles and Omos could challenge them for the tag titles they hold. And once they win the titles, AJ Styles and Omos could, in turn, be drafted to SmackDown. It would also lay the groundwork for a Roman Reigns vs AJ Styles feud, maybe even Roman Reigns vs Omos in due time. Number 2. Shayna Baszler chokes out Becky Lynch recreating their infamous WWE Raw feud. Since WWE Raw Women's Champion Charlotte Flair is on SmackDown, it makes sense that SmackDown Women's Champion, Becky Lynch, will be headed to Raw soon. Unfortunately for Becky Lynch, there's an unhinged queen of spades who is running rampant on WWE Raw at the moment. Her name is Shayna Baszler, and she has tapped into what made her unique in NXT. Don't be surprised if Shayna Baszler blindsides Becky Lynch when she arrives on WWE Raw or even bites her, as she once infamously did. Number 1. Keith Bearcat Lee confronts Big E. Keith Lee was drafted to WWE Raw ahead of Rey Mysterio and Jeff Hardy. That has to speak volumes for the confidence that the company must have in him right now. Could he receive the push of a lifetime, thrust into a WWE Championship feud with Big E immediately, even if he comes up short, it will be a significant step up from what he's been doing on the main roster. Big E cashed in his money in the bank contract on Bobby Lashley several weeks ago to win the coveted WWE Championship for the first time in his career. According to the former New Day member however, winning the title was not part of the plan he had heard of for his singles push. Big E made the announcement on Twitter last month that he would show up to Monday Night Raw to cash in his contract, and he successfully did so following the Almighty's title bout with Randy Orton. He recently defended the WWE Championship in a rematch against Lashley on the Red Brand, which took place inside a steel cage. During an interview with Daily Star, Big E revealed that there was talk about him becoming a world champion years ago, but it came and went every time. This was not the plan that I'd heard, said Big E. I'm trying to remember what I was alluding to, it was. Maybe the Intercontinental Championship which was kind of in the works for a bit. But I had heard talks years ago about maybe putting the title on me, or possibly becoming a world champion, multiple times, but that kind of came, and went every time. It's kind of hard to fathom getting here, but in many ways it's not. So many of my peers had been so kind, and so many people over the years had said yeah, this is something that you're ready for, or that you deserve these opportunities. Big E is a major star, and a huge inspiration to many people around the globe. He was part of a popular tag team known as The New Day with Kofi Kingston and Xavier Woods, and they were referred to as the greatest tag team in WWE history by the company itself. Speaking about maintaining his originality, the WWE champion stated that he wants to be himself, and not a John Cena or Roman Reigns copycat. I have no desire to be anyone else, but me I never want to be a Cena copycat or a Roman copycat, he said. I feel like it's very early in, but I feel like it is working and going well, and I want to keep it up. It's interesting to reflect on the last year or 13 months, because I didn't know if this is where the end game would be. It has been beautiful. Big E was drafted to Raw as part of the first round of the WWE Draft, and it's possible that we could see him feud with Drew McIntyre for the title before the draft comes into effect after Crown Jewel. Raw Women's Champion Charlotte Flair was taken by the SmackDown brand with the third overall selection in the 2021 WWE Draft. Raw Women's Champion Charlotte Flair was selected by the SmackDown brand with the third overall pick in day one of the 2021 WWE Draft. 
player had spent the previous two years on Raw, having been selected by the brand in the 2019 and 2020 WWE drafts. Apparently, officials at Fox wanted the five-time SmackDown Women's Champion back on the blue brand, this is according to WrestlingInc.com president Raj Geary, who reported Fox specifically asked for Charlotte Flair, Universal Champion Roman Reigns was selected first overall by SmackDown, and Raw selected WWE Champion Big E with the number 2 pick. SmackDown Women's Champion Becky Lynch went undrafted on night 1, but she'll presumably be selected by Raw on Monday night since the red brand will need one major women's title holder. The easy solution would be for Charlotte and Lynch to simply swap championship belts, or for the Queen to drop the Raw women's title at some point in the next three weeks. The 2021 draft selections won't actually go into effect until October 22, one day after the Crown Jewel event at King Fahd International Stadium in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia. Bianca Belair, who's currently feuding with Lynch, was selected fourth overall by Raw. The EST of WWE and Sasha Banks will challenge Lynch for the SmackDown women's title in a triple threat match at Crown Jewel. Banks, like Lynch, was not drafted on night one. Thanks to interference from Lynch, Banks managed to defeat Belair in a singles match on SmackDown, Charlotte attacked both challengers after the match, and the two champions proceeded to raise their title belts in the air. Charlotte is one of the top stars in the WWE, and she'll absolutely continue to flourish over on SmackDown. We don't know yet as to who her future opponents might be, but we should have a good idea after the draft, we can already rule out Belair, Nikki A.S.H. and Rhea Ripley who were drafted to Raw, and Lynch will most likely go there too. Brock Lesnar and fellow WWE veteran Ric Flair are both scheduled for upcoming interviews outside the WWE umbrella. The official website of the Joe Rogan Experience podcast features a tentative list of future podcast guests. The updated list, as of September 30, 2021, consists of two big names from the pro wrestling world, Brock Lesnar and Ric Flair. The list dubs Ric Flair a retired professional wrestler. On the other hand, Brock Lesnar is listed as current WWE Universal Champion, former WWE, and UFC Heavyweight Champion. Lesnar was seemingly close to appearing on Joe Rogan's podcast back in 2018-19, with Rogan making comments about the same. A short while ago, Rogan heaped major praise on Flair and added that he'd love to have the Nature Boy on his podcast. Flair went on to post the video on his official Twitter handle and seemed excited about a potential interview. Unlike most wrestlers, Brock Lesnar rarely appears in interviews. He's an incredibly private guy and lives with his family on a farm in Maryfield, Saskatchewan. During his year-long hiatus from WWE, Lesnar appeared on The Bearded Butchers but didn't talk much about his wrestling career. Back in 2015, Lesnar appeared on Stone Cold Steve Austin's podcast and had an interesting chat with The Rattlesnake. One comment that stood out was about Lesnar's aversion to people. Lesnar explained not liking people. Ric Flair has been a controversial name lately due to his past being brought up in an episode of Dark Side of the Ring following which he's been receiving tons of flack on social media. Here's hoping he provides a detailed comment about the controversy on the Joe Rogan experience. Are you excited for Brock Lesnar and Ric Flair's upcoming appearances on the Joe Rogan experience? Sound off in the comments below.